And so what is this whole thing about the gas and brake model? Well, sleep actually is quite easy to understand. Think about a car. Think about a car that has a gas pedal that makes the car go move forward and a brake pedal that you know stops the car. <clears throat> Same thing with sleep. There's only one thing in this whole universe that produces you know, uh, gas, if you will, in our sleep system. And, and gas is sleep drive. It's basically how much our body needs to sleep or wants to sleep at any given moment. That's the gas in our sleep system. That's the only thing that can make us asleep. It's the gas and that's sleep drive. Now, for safety reasons, we also have a break in the sleep system. We don't want to fall asleep when, you know, the fire alarm is going off. That, that's, that's not safe. So we have a break in the sleep system and that is hyper arousal, this heightened state of alertness, vigilance that can come from anxiety, from fear, but also from excitement. So that is it. That's the only two things that really matter when it comes to sleep. If we are, if we have sleep drive and we are also hyper aroused, which is very common, typical insomnia uh, scenario. Sleep, sleep will happen because there's sleep drive, but we're also hyper aroused. So it'll be this choppy, fitful, hyper sleeper, not sure if we slept or not, right? If we have, let's say, no sleep drive and, and no hyper arousal, we'll just be resting. You know, we'll, sleep will not happen, but we, we won't bother us either. We will be in a sort of peace, peace, peaceful state of mind because there's no hyper arousal. And then we have this scenario where we do have, uh, you know, no sleep drive, but we are hyper aroused. We're not sleepy, but we're trying to sleep, desperate trying to sleep. This is going to be very unpleasant. And then we have, you know, what we what we all want, which is like we have sleep drive, so sleep happens. There's no hyper arousal blocking it. Peaceful sleep happens. But th this is this is sleep. This is really the only things that matter. And this is why you know it's so easy for us to say that you know you know if you eat bananas or if you exercise or if you take this medication or what happened ten years ago, none of that matters. Like gas and break. It, it, it explains every single phenomenon.